It's week 18 of the NFL, and our focus is on Amari Cooper. On the doorstep of another milestone in a great season, approaching 1,200 yards. It's the Chargers and the Raiders. All that and more coming up next. It was once just an idea until breaking ground in November of 2016, and now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. Side Charles Davis and Charles we take a look at this Charger club entering play here they've been playing their best football of the year winners of four in a row on the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders they've come in on a nice run of recent form four wins out of five and last week they put together a three touchdown victory and were never challenged in that game let's see if they have a little bit of a letdown here Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway in Southern California. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And he returns this to the 22. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders is shaken up on that one. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I hear the key in actus for this one, Charles, and as you get towards the latter stages of the season, you hope that this is a clean graphic with no names, but that's hard to do in the NFL. Yeah, there's almost no way you think it's going to be like that. It's just a matter of what names are on the list and how you prepare to play without them. Everyone wants to finish strong, but the only way to do it Forget the inactive list and focus on the guys who are going to take the field. 27 yards there, a first down. Now Jones. That throw. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37 yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. with Stevenson and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49 call it a gain of seven and it gets him a new set of downs back to Stevenson on first down and down to the 44 five yards that time after the pickup of five here's second and five Morgan. Over the middle complete. It's Jones. 
And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And he'll get it inside the 35. Holding offense. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second and 15 now, Morgan caught by Jones. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Set to throw is Morgan. And that is incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Tucker's kick is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, Turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. Barrios now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Heading back out, the Chargers offense. We get a peek at the playoff picture of the AFC. And for them, it's no longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They've clinched the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seat? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play, doesn't it? Because now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off the gap. No, not at all. Play it all the way through. And I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender, and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. On second and 11 now. Jones over the middle. Amari Cooper, it's complete. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And a loss of three to bring up four. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Logan Cook to punt. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. 
And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Stevenson. A little juke. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Morgan sets up to throw on first down. This complete to Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. On second and very short, Morgan complete to Jones. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Now Morgan. Checking this down to Stevenson. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Eighth play in the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Morgan looks to throw it. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Tucker's kick is good, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's 6 to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6 nothing. so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now or get explosive later and put the points up on the board. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6 nothing as they begin with a first down. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down following the pickup of four here second and six throwing Jones and he'll hit the slant route that's caught by Cooper and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled third catch of this first half for him and this one is a first down and that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage so timing is everything this time you wait for his man to come open puts it right on him and they pick up a first down Jones now throwing on first down Jones in trouble here and down he goes multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game and every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it maybe that's a key for their defense today pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And he'll get about two there to the 36. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play there for L.A. 51 yards. 
yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Back to throw. Jones. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Operating from the gun, Jones. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it? Did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Now Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal try. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah you're saying as a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch they're happy they've got three now they hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road and now this offense comes back out onto the field last time out you remember their drive stall but thanks to their kicker booted a long field goal to at least get them three now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone and in our experience how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll leave them with a third and two. Here's Morgan to throw. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Morgan. And that is incomplete on oh, the coverage. A little too good there, but it's second down. To throw once more on second and 10. Morgan. Jones has it. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Here's Morgan. They set up the screen for Stevenson. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. 
And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones flush to his right. A hit as he throws there incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. A carry here for Hunt, and that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Now, this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. First down, Morgan with it. Completes to Zacchaeus. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. On second down, it's Stevenson. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On third down, Morgan. And that will be incomplete. So a pass from the defense there. They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Here's Jones throwing to start the drive. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones eluding the pressure right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And the Raiders are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. The Raider offense heading back for one final first-half drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Morgan. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw. Jones. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Fairbairn able to put this in through, and that will tie things up at 6-6. Six -six. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the 
first thing a coach tells his defense, don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the road. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here with not much scoring between these two teams. 6-6 six, six our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's all down to this. Week 18 of the NFL regular season. Lots to be decided, so let's get right to it. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo. And it's the Bills who have the lead in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Russell Wilson. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they currently trail the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Stephon Diggs, up near 100 yards receiving with a touchdown as well. Lastly, let's motor up to the Motor City. See what's happening with the Lions at home at Ford Field. And they were losers in that one as they fall to the visiting Denver Broncos. Geno Smith leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. On now to a check on the next-gen stats for the Raiders in that first half. And there's not much to speak of in terms of passing efficiency. But in a tie game, they know a few tweaks could make a big difference going forward. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts, as you can see the numbers there. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. This fielded right at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't put anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the get -run. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Jonathan Grenard in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Well, obviously, the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play, but the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit, too. It denied open windows, erased the quarterback's targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Play action with Morgan. Pass to the right, and he's got McBride. They get 14 back, but it leads down to a third down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Stevenson now on first and ten. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Again, it's Stevenson. Down at the 25. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. 
He completes it to Jones. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Looking to throw. Morgan. Throw left side complete. It's Jones. Touchdown, Raiders. Julio Jones. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. And I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach. Okay, <laughs> so he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn the page and let him get some starts before this season is over. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. And now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw the good offense. Oh, so the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. They'll run with Hunt on second down. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Jones on third down. And able to connect with Barrios. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That gain on third down, good for 28. And time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Down to the 42, second down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here. And we'll step aside. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They run again with Hunt. Holding offense. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. This is Hunt on the draw play. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already Holding walking back. Offense. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. The oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game. And you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Swings this out for Hunt. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43. And that is not near enough to pick up the first. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this will stay at a seven-point game. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me, what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not 
is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Well, they tried the field goal from just inside at 70 yards. It missed, and now this offense set up nicely at midfield. On the handoff, Stevenson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Morgan. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Looking to throw again on second down. Morgan. And break. The tight end's got it. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Now it's Stevenson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. That's the end It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Khalil Mack from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's McBride. Ten yards gets him closer, but now it's fourth and goal. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. Tucker's kick is good, and that one makes this a ten-point game at 16-6. to six. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance could not be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Now Jones. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Throwing again, Jones. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game, and he's got a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that will bring up second down. They'll look to throw again. That pass caught. It's Williams. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A gain of 28 yards there, and give him a first down. 
That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 34. They'll run with Hunt. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Jones looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Raiders will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Morgan got his man complete over the middle. It's Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Here's Stevenson. Oh, able to avoid him. They find some open field here. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Charger is six. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Meanwhile, Jones' throw complete there to Berrios. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 10 yards. Now Jones on first down. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Throwing again on second down. Jones got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Throwing Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Here's Hunt. And he's brought down. Just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A gain of four yards. That's another charger. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the Raiders are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Khalil Mack, of course, the former Raider, there to make the tackle. Second and seven. 
brings up second and seven at the 12 yard line. They run once more with Stevenson. 158 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Las Vegas, they conclude the regular season with a final record of 11-6. And, and now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, this was basically just an exhibition game for them as they'd already clinched home field advantage. And the playoffs will run through their house as they'll...